Okay, here's the second of our questions um, on oscilloscopes and AC. This one's a little bit harder because it's got the first part of the question um, about frequency and period and the time base. Uh, and that's often the part of the question that catches people out. Okay, so this one it says we've got an AC waveform on the screen. The time base is set at 1.5 milliseconds per division. So remember what that means is each division or little square represents 1.5 milliseconds um, on that horizontal axis. The Y gain is 1.5 volts per division. So the first thing it asks us to do is to calculate the frequency. Okay, so to calculate the frequency we need to know something about how many waves there are in a certain time period. Now, the three marks for this question. The first thing you've got to do to get your first mark is to use the entire um, diagram there. And what you can see there, hopefully, is that there are one and a half complete cycles. Okay, on a waveform, that's one complete cycle, and that's another half. So there are one and a half whole waveforms, and that has taken one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten squares. Okay, so we've got ten squares, each representing one and a half milliseconds. So that gives us a total time of 15 milliseconds. Okay, now that is one and a half cycles. So the period, capital T for period, is going to equal, I hope you can see, two thirds of that. Okay, two thirds of 15, because there are one and a half in total, which is obviously only going to be 10 milliseconds. So the period is 10 milliseconds. That, we want that in seconds really, so remember milli is 10 to the minus 3, so 10 times 10 to the minus 3. Frequency is 1 over period. Period is seconds per cycle, frequency is cycles per second, they're 1 over each other. Okay, so the frequency is 1 over 10 times 10 to the minus 3 which equals 100 hertz. Okay, so three marks. One for using the whole cycle, one for getting the period from that, and then the third mark for getting the frequency. So there are a couple of key things to remember there. First of all, make sure you use as much of the diagram as possible. It just makes it more accurate. Um, remember that relationship, frequency is one over period. Use the trace to work out the period for one complete cycle, and then you're there. The next question asks us for the peak voltage. Well, um, hopefully you can see there, there's two squares up. That's the peak voltage, isn't it, from the zero position up to the maximum peak. So there's two lots of one and a half. Okay, so we've got two lots of one and a half volts, which gives us um, a peak voltage of three volts. That's a nice, easy two marks. The next part of the question asks us to work out the RMS voltage. So the RMS voltage, V RMS, is the peak voltage divided by root 2. So the peak voltage from the previous question was 3. 3 divided by root 2, you can obviously do that on your calculator, 2.12, uh, I think, volts. Another easy two marks. The last question says, state and explain the effect on this uh, oscilloscope trace if the time base is switched off. Well, if the time base is switched off, we end up with just that vertical line, don't we? So you need to say a vertical line in the middle, no movement, no horizontal movements. How big is that line? Well, it's um, twice the peak voltage in height. Okay, so that would be... Um, I think it was four divisions in total, wasn't it? Okay, so anything like that, two marks. Two marks for saying a vertical line that doesn't move and the height is four divisions uh, representing um, a total peak-to-peak -peak of six volts. So any two of those would get you the two marks. So that was a quite a nice um, oscilloscope question, but the first bit is the bit that catches out everybody out that bit about frequency and time base, so make sure you're okay with that.